I gotta go get myself a hysterectomy soon anyhow, so. <laughs> Isn't that your third one? And now, Cheese Wits. Hello? Hello. Why are you in the car? You know, because I forgot about the show. <laughs> That's God. why. It's four o'clock. Do you know where your kids are? They're all in the I, car, I, apparently. I'm, apparently. I'm in I'm in Brunswick, Maine. I've been to Brunswick before. I have not. I am, uh, and I am going to have to get out of the car in a couple of minutes. Seriously? And head towards Freeport, Maine. But that's all right. I can do this from the car. I thought you just said you had to get out of the what? car. Oh, I don't hear Jess at all. You can't hear me? Motherfucking fuck. I can hear you, Jesse. Okay. I hear no Jessica. But you hear me. I can hear you, yeah. What about Wally? I heard you, and then now I don't hear you. I, I don't know why. Wally, Wally, do you hear me? I don't think he hears a fucking thing. If it's thing. me, flip me off. It is? It's me? It's you. Jesus That's Jesus why I can't Christ. hear you, because it's me? I just flipped off somebody inside huh. the fucking rudders. <laughs> Weird. Okay. I was hearing you fine. I heard you and I heard Chris. And now you can't hear either one of us. Suddenly I don't. All right, hold on. What this have is I a done? Fucking circus. This is rich. Yeah. Nothing. I've done nothing. What do you want to bet, Chris? As soon as he gets his shit worked out, your shit's going to drop out. <laughs> but, uh, I, uh, <laughs> mean like that? Mm hmm. Didn't do yep. that? Yep. I don't know. You know, while we're waiting for Wally, I'm going to go yeah, inside and buy a lottery I... ticket. Okay. Buy a winning one. Is there any other way to go? Uh, as soon as I stop no. here, I'm going to take a look and see what's going on. We have serious shit to talk about, so. We do. Yeah. And look at this asshole. Why don't you fucking learn how to park, dude? That's right. He sounds like my mother. Fucking it's so wow. precious. <laughs> The fucking this guy, is... and he's pulling into a spot and he can't do it. All right, hold on here. Let me see why I have why I am muted. Let me see if we can actually turn... confirm that Wally can't hear us. Wally, oh, I took no. off to pictures of you. Yeah, well, let me try to uh, take well, off my shirt so you get to see oh, my no, man. Tits. Finally, all right. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing what he can hear. You're like my wife. Yeah. No, you, you know what it is? I had, um, I think it's because I had um, uh, a music app open for some reason and it blocked you guys out. Somebody's got to take the car keys away from dad at Seriously. some point. No, no. As soon as when you called in, I was I was actually listening to uh, to uh, to uh, X, Sirius XM. Okay. I have to depart for a second. So you guys, I will come back. Okay. Okay. You guys talk amongst yourselves. So we so we shouldn't talk about anything while he's gonna want to talk about then, right? Yeah, because I won't be able to hear you anyways. Yeah. Okay. We'll just Oh I can't. We'll just As do it turns out we'll just do boring shit until he's back. Well I don't know. You know what? I will, I've got some boring shit here. Okay. I am uh so I'm buying oh, my lottery not, ticket. Tom Kent. Do not talk about Tom Kent. No, we won't. We won't. We won't. Don't so, you have something to do while Okay, in? because Seriously, go yeah, do the thing a, so you can come back. I'm doing it. I'm walking right now. <laughs> Hang on one second. I have to return something to somebody. Okay. You probably want those. I'm just going to shut yeah, out. Of they were come. hanging out of the side of the lottery machine. Yeah. So in case you've been looking for them. You're welcome. <laughs> They left, they left the keys to open up the lottery machine instead of inside of the lottery machine. I can kind of hear you, but whatever the fuck Wally's doing is like <laughs> over everything. Is there a way to disconnect Wally? Yeah, I can probably. Yeah, disconnect me. I'll, I'll check back in after. Disconnect your damn self then. I did. I already closed the better. We got to take the keys away from dad at some point. I have nothing on my screen right now, you guys. It doesn't have to be on your screen. No shit. You have to nothing. hang up. 
All right, let me, uh, this guy's going, you guys. Oh, sorry. I need to pick up something. I won $30. Oh, um, I guess that's okay. $30 is good. I have an order of about this, I guess. How do we make him hang the hell up? Um, Oh, here's the good sir. I'm getting the good service. Wally, hang up. I listen. I have. I do not have you guys open on my phone. You obviously do. Look it. I don't. I can't see you guys. All I can do is hear you. Let me try this. Maybe my phone. Maybe my car hasn't disengaged yet. Scroll down from the top. If it was your car, we wouldn't be able to hear you. Yeah, me. Uh, Scroll no. down from the top of your screen and end the call. Yeah, I'm sorry. It has ended. Christopher, will you please oh. take his keys away? We have to. There has to be a point where Dad hey, listen, no longer drives. There's nothing open on my phone right now. Nothing. And, and yet, oh my by God. the magic of the internet, we can still hear you. Yeah, well... Sorry, don't know what, don't know why. The only thing on my phone right now open is the main screen. No, there's well, nothing. It says open messenger. No recently used apps. Open messenger. There's nothing open. Open messenger. What's that? Open messenger. Well, hold on. I got to get to the. Okay. Here we are. Do you see the little red hang up button? No. My messenger says join. Because I'm not connected. You obviously are connected. Oh my god. All right, shitheads. I already told you I'm not. Here, here's my screenshot. We can't see it. I'm going to send you a screenshot to show you. It says I'm not connected. <laughs> Chris. Y'all fucks can laugh as much as you want. Chris. Look at the mine sc screen test. Tap to return to call. Chris, is Wally actually trying to convince us he's not on this call currently? The person talking to us is trying oh, to convince us. You, you two idiots don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, it could be that too. That's exactly that what too. it is. I'm the, sure that's what screen. it is. He's trying to so show us a screenshot with nothing on the screen. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to send you. I'm going to send you a picture of this. Yeah. Tap to return to call. That's what yeah. my screen says. Go right ahead now. and tap it and then disconnect it. Yeah. Maybe that'll work. Hold on. Nope. Now it brings it to you guys. Now hang up. Okay. Now push the hang up button down the bottom. Push one of our pictures and hit the hang up button. I'll try that. Well, you don't have a picture, so it'll hit you. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Thank you. Judas, fuck. I can't. Judas, fuck. Was he trying to convince us he was not? He was trying to convince us. He was trying to fucking gaslight us into saying, no, no, I'm not on. <laughs> then why are you responding to my words? <laughs> we just spent eight fucking minutes on that. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I had to have an x-ray done on my knee. Oh, I just no. sent you the picture of it here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, that, that picture. That's not your name. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't know that. <laughs> um, that's not your knee. That's not my dick either. Mm -mm. So that's what I've heard. Wait a minute. Hold on one second. Now my screen says join. <laughs> I'm serious. It says join. Hold on. And now oh, there's the picture of that man's penis again. Yep. And okay, there's you. There's me. There you are. Yeah. Okay. Good golly, Miss Molly. I'm going to teach you all how to use this internet yet. Oh, my God. How'd we do on the lottery? Um, I won $30. Okay. I'll take that. Did you just buy one ticket? Um, I got, um, what did I get? I got uh, $40 worth of tickets, but I haven't scratched three of them. I only scratched one. <laughs> so, so I'm going to say I'm ahead. Math and computers are both very difficult. They are. They are. So I'm either down 10 or up 20 or down a million and up a zillion or I, I just don't know, Jess. Okay. It's, I mean, it's a lot. I always forget to buy lottery tickets. I always say I'm going to, 
and then I just don't. Hey, do they well, have robot lawnmowers up there? Um, I haven't seen any. They have them here in some of the like the city parks and stuff. It's basically like a Roomba for the lawn. Oh. Yeah. That's good. What happens when it hits the uh, den of bunnies? I don't know. Hmm. But I feel like Sounds like a very Sharon Stone thing. I saw somebody on TikTok that their neighbor had one, but it had veered, mm -hmm. it had wandered away from the yard. Mm -hmm. And they were trying to talk to it. They they rolled down the window and they were like, "Are you okay?" <laughs> wow, you're talking to a Roomba. Your house is over there. Are you okay? Are you lost? Speaking of houses. <laughs> yeah. So she's got this nice highfalutin government job. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she, uh, you know, needs to stay within a certain radius of Frederick. Right. Right. Well, ain't neither one of us making fucking tons of money. Mm -hmm. I and mean, we're making more than we ever made in a building at the top of Grove Hill. Yeah. But, you know, nobody's making a ton of money. I mean, but together, it's like 150. Okay. It's hard to find a place to live around here that costs less than four hundred thousand dollars for a house yeah here too and it's like okay we want to stay within 15 minutes of frederick but you know thermont might be cheap but thermont i mean let's face it you know you're probably going to get scalped up there <laughs> probably so, you know it's i i don't know what we're going to do and then i said you know let's go to live in a uh, littlestown pennsylvania right over the line get something that will be okay for 289 290 Mm -hmm. 300 something like that mm -hmm. but then it gives her an hour commute uh, to downtown frederick because she's literally she's on the corner of market and west patrick oh i used to live yeah. down there i yeah, didn't I know i didn't own and back then i mean that was that was 12 13 years ago right and rent and was it was also a thousand bucks a month then yeah rent was rent was i mean it was high as far as i was concerned it was high i had to have a roommate but it wasn't like to, like now things are crazy well, of course it was high, considering those fucking people tried to pay us in, I don't know what they tried to pay us in. Roy Rogers coupons? Basically, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a new Roy's at the bottom of the hill. Would you like to go? No, Phyllis, I don't. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks anyway. Oh, would you like to go to the Pollo Campero? No, I would not. Nope. Mm -mm. We did go to a nice Mexican restaurant there the other day. Um, that's, yeah, remember where the Toys R Us was? Yep. Okay, Toys R Us is now a big lot, but in that same shopping center, there's an awesome Mexican restaurant all the way at the other end. No kidding. And, oh, yeah. Just, I mean, if if I would, we, we would have been eating there three times a week if we were still there. Yeah. I mean, it's there. I judge a place on its white queso, and mm -hmm. the white queso was just tits out good. Okay. That's right there at the, uh, like, toward the bottom of Grove Hill, right? Uh, yeah, but bottom of Grove Hill, make a right before you get to uh, the Golden Mile. Yeah. Going to that shopping center right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We we were going to go to the Mountain View Diner, but people have been posting shit on Facebook about rats running around Mountain View. Oh. So, um, yeah. Oh, so, I um, used to but, love that diner. Well, so did I until the vermin. Yeah. I tend to like my food without, without excrement. Pussy. I know. I know. Man, I Thank had God. such a hard day yesterday with this microphone. Yeah. It wasn't the microphone's fault. It was my fault, as it turns out. Yeah. I still have both mics hooked up, right? Okay, yeah. Because I'm doing pickups on the book that I recorded with the other mic, so I have to have it. And I just I just have it there. So right. on my I understand. On my board, it's mic one. Yeah. And then this one is mic two. Okay. And I recorded a thing... And then I listened back to it and I was like, why does it sound so far away? Why does it sound so echoey? And it's because the other mic was on, yeah. Yeah, it took me um, jiggling wires and moving shit around and changing out cables. And then I finally realized the other mic was on. Good times. Mm -hmm. was, was oh, good. really? You didn't know how to use technology? That's unusual for no, you. No, I, I did that... know how to use the technology. Yeah, me too. But sometimes it doesn't cooperate, does it? Well, when you, when you use Wall, when you when you, you use there, it Wally? properly, it cooperates just fine. Wally, is that you? Oh, so so you weren't using it properly. I get it. Correct. I hear you. Now. So you didn't know what you were doing. No, I, I knew what I was verify doing. Verify that Wally's connected. I know. Wait, 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 wait! I'm not done mocking Jess yet. I'm Shut sorry, up. Continue, continue. Oh, are you trying to mock me? <laughs> You're trying to mock me. I don't. 
I don't accept your mocking. No. <laughs> I don't receive oh, that. Fucking, this traffic is brutal. All right, go ahead. I'm I'm sorry. I'm telling you that fucking thing. It doesn't. It, I could not easily get out of it. I was. It's saying, oh, you're out of it. And it says, oh, to join the call, hit here. Chris's advice was great. Just hit on the picture, and then close it out. But I, uh, when I was talking to you guys, I had nothing opened on my phone anywhere mm. that I could find. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I, I saw nothing. Mm -hmm. So it may have been just min I think it was running in the background, and mm -hmm. I couldn't figure out how to get to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, Boy, I hope I don't get this. I hope I don't get disconnected. I was trying to talk you through that, but okay. It's all right. I, it's fine. I couldn't get to it. Mm -hmm. Whatever it was, I couldn't. Mm -hmm get to it so so look at this dumb do you know cunt. what this reminds me of? the fuck is that this, who's this on reminds first? me of my parents on an answering machine yeah that i remember this 10 15 years ago when they first tried to do voicemail instead of the answering machine <laughs> and they hi you've reached 301-924 we can't take your call right now and leave a message after you're done john how do you stop this fucking thing <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, you guys. That's true, though. Fantastic. That's true. Oh, get the so, so, hey, so, Wally, which dead guy do you want to talk about first? So, who's the other dead guy? In his the guy house. In my house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about the guy in your house which, first. First of all, let me just interject because I don't know this. I don't know anything about the story, Chris, but when you texted us last week about this, I said a thing, and instead of chastising me for saying something inappropriate wally chastised me for saying something inappropriate outside of the show yes and not holding it for the show that's yeah correct yeah okay wait 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 what, what, what was that how did i chastise you jessica save the funny for the show that's yeah it. that's not chastising it is that's a though. suggestion mm -hmm. i would have cha chastising would have been say, saying uh, that's not funny. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> wow. Well, so let's begin the story. You know, I was born a a poor black child. <laughs> I and, know the no. story. Um, thank you. Um, the um, house in Silver Spring is being remodeled, right? right. And yeah. I'm doing it with a guy, my landscaping guy. has got people that work for him and days that they don't landscape. You know, rainy days, guy goes in there and does stuff. And... Um, Apparently, and Mondays. Been, well, yes, and rainy days and Mondays, they all get me down. Okay. But this guy apparently has been squatting there and like coming over and staying there at night, which I didn't know. Um, but his main job couldn't get a hold of him a couple of Fridays ago. And they called my friend's wife, who was written down as this guy's emergency contact on Wednesday. Okay. So this yeah. guy goes and he um, goes over to the house and finds this, you know, naked, dead, 60-year-old Puerto Rican laying on my bedroom floor. Wait, wait. Naked? Naked. He had just gotten out of the shower, apparently. Wow. Oh, fuck me. Yeah. Um, so paramedics come and say, yeah, he did. And they left. And the police and the coroner show up and... You know, question why he was here, who's here, why they, you know, all that sort of shit. And they're like, okay, natural causes, whatever. So Steve's going over to clean the house. Um, oh. And I'm like, yeah, how is it? He says, well, it doesn't smell or anything, but, you know, some of the skin was hard to get off of the wood floor. Oh, oh. oh. oh no. Oh. Oh, me. Now, that is the same exact spot that my mom's ex-husband died in that house. Really? Same exact spot. So uh, we were considering living there, and now we're not going to. Yeah, no, you but, can't. But here's the kicker to the story, okay? So my dad owns this house, and my dad's got some stuff downstairs. So on Saturday, oh, Saturday, mm -hmm. dad goes over there to try and look through some of his stuff, and he's looking for some videotapes about railroads or whatever <laughs> the fuck. And he's looking for stuff, and he left and went home. Mom and dad went down to the beach. 
So dad was in the house downstairs with a dead guy upstairs and had no idea. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck you. Can, could you imagine Holy if my 83-year-old dad went upstairs and, you know, saw this dead Puerto Rican man laying on the floor? Wow. Oh, my. God. Yeah, he would have called you. Well, I, I'm guessing he would have used words other than there's a dead Puerto Rican guy on the floor. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and probably say, now that's Steve Kingston's trying to set you up with a murder, son. Here's what we're going to do. <laughs> so, but yeah, it, it, it's just. Holy. It, yeah, so that's 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 my life there. What about, uh, what about you folks? That's... What about, uh, what about, um, Truck and Tom Kent there, my friend? Yeah, I, I, so I knew Tom pretty, pretty well. I, I mean, I haven't, I knew him pretty well 20 years ago. Um, back, back when, um, well, even a little before that, when he was working at Atco, I think it was. Wasn't yes. he at Atco Records? Yeah, he was at Atco. And so I, I fucking dined with him several times. And I remember when he was going back to do his radio. Cause he, he was one of the like the first guys I remember doing sort of kind of a podcasty kind of thing when he was, went back to do the old Cook and Tom Kent routine. Right. With his, with his, with a, um, uh, with, with his, uh, what the hell is it, a syndicated show? Right. And uh, But he was one of those fucking great throwback kind of guys, right? Oh, absolutely. He, he was so fucking... Jess, remember when we were at Kiss and they wanted to buy us, or the guy wanted to buy us and he wanted, he wanted us to talk to the rhythm of the music? Yeah. Cook and Tom Kent. That's, 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 that's... That a, was that him? Was how, well, no, that wasn't him who tried to buy it, but that's that was his sort of delivery for a long while. Oh. That he he did that kind of delivery, but he was so fucking good at it. It wasn't, it was a little campy, but it wasn't bullshit. It was good shit. He, he was he did very the radio. Good. He did he did the format very well, and he did it better yes, than he did. anybody else. Yes, that, he did. You know, uh, arguably, that walked the earth. But I would was say. It? That he was probably the best jock, probably of the '80s, doing the format. I really yeah. think he was. And Wasn't he, he at Waver? He was at Waver. He was PD of Waver. When Waver went to top forty from Rock, he was the PD. Yeah, and he, he did was afternoons. just so fucking good. He was yeah. so good, and, he really, and a genuinely good guy too. Right, he was, and Tom Tom was religious, um, you know, very much so. And um, you could tell that by on his on his network, he's the one that brought back uh, Brother John Rivers to do Powerline. Oh, I remember Powerline. Remember, it was basically they play a Doobie Brothers song. It's like, and you know, uh, their names aren't Doobie, and they're not brothers. And they're talking about they're talking about the Roach Clip, and that's something that you probably probably shouldn't do. Brother John here on the Powerline, and. What a fool! I was. remember the oh, I remember the power line. Oh, holy shit! God damn! That was yeah. th that, that was another one of those shows. Yeah, but he was he he was well. He was very religious until he was trying to get an ad on your station. Well, and then it was <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker. Oh yes, it was. Mm -hmm. Like why the fuck aren't you playing my record? Mm -hmm. What the fuck? I need more spins. Mm -hmm. he, he was brutal. Oh yeah, brutal when it came to that kind of shit. And he would, he, 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 so I knew a lot of guys that, that did how so many people who, who did their own shtick and Jess, you know, them too, that did they had a different way of trying to get a record on and get more plays. Mm -hmm. He would beg you, hmm. he would outright beg and explain like, like there was a guy, Jeff Criden. Did any of you guys ever work with Jeff Criden? No. Heard the name. So, so Jeff would all, Jeff would say things like, I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> Warner Brothers is going to fire me if I don't get five more spins this week. Oh my God! Out of your station, and of course Jeff Criden ended up being one of the last guys standing at Warner Brothers, mm -hmm. doing doing the Northeast records out of fucking frozen Buffalo. Well, it's uh, because yeah, he got I, the spins. I, yeah, it, it was probably. But I, yeah, that was kind of that was a little sad. So to to see that that happened to TK. But you have any idea how old he was, Chris? 
68, I believe, or 69. I can't remember which. It feel, it, so now now that I'm in my 60s, it feels so young. Mm. Yeah. It feels so fucking young. It, 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 when it was 30, I would have said, well, he lived a good life. Now I'm thinking, like, man, he had a lot of good life left to live. Uh, it's funny how your perspective changes. So, so my death story here is I don't have a death story so much as, um, I, and I, I I've only told my wife this. Um, so I was talking to my dad the other day, and he let me know that he has. Uh, and and this isn't to say a bad thing. Listen, he's he's in his eighties. Um, he let me know that he has um, liver cancer. Oh. And but but here's the thing, he's such a he's such a shithead. He said, "Well, I've given the um, doctor permission to talk to the oncologist, and I've agreed to have a meeting with him." It's like, Dad, you're fucking in your 80s. What do you mean you've agreed? It, it just it, like he's still in control. Mm -hmm. You well, just don't have any control. <laughs> that, that, that's the thing, you know, with my dad saying something like that. You know, it's like, well, you know, I've got a doctor's appointment I got to fit in. Between yeah. what? <laughs> Dynasty and Dark Shadows? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's the same thing with my dad. I mean, at least he's realistic. So I told him, I so I said to him, I said, listen, I'm not going to talk to you anymore about it until you know more about it and what, you know, what the course of treatment is and, and all the considerations you have. He goes, yeah, I mean, I'll have some questions for them and, and I'll decide what I'm going to let them do, <laughs> if anything. <laughs> and I'm just thinking to myself, like, this is absolutely indicative of a person in their 80s. Hmm. It's absolutely the way they talk about things. Like, I mean, like there's really, any option. You can't, you can't blame. Like, like, do I want to do some invasive treatment that's going to make me feel like shit all the time, or do I just want to go ahead and call it a day? Like, well, that's that's what he's saying. He's saying, he's saying, listen, if it only gets me a couple more years, I I got to think about quality of life. Yeah. I hope, Jess. I hope when my time comes, whether it's fucking tomorrow or in 20 years from now, that I have that perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, I can make that tomorrow thing happen, Wally. <laughs> if, you, uh, if you really... Yeah, but I, I'd probably have to go to Baltimore because I don't think crime travels too far there. Uh, well, that is true. That is true. Just, just pick, pick a street corner. I'll meet you. It's fine. Right. I'd have to pick the right block. Show up at this block and you'll be fine and you, they'll take care of you. But I hope I have that perspective to just say, you know what, listen... I don't need another couple of years to fucking feel like shit. Yeah. Dude, I've already got I, that perspective. You know, it's like, look, if, if, if somebody turns the lights off tomorrow, they turn the fucking lights off tomorrow. Yeah, you know, I agree like, with oh, you. Aren't you worried about the debt you're going to leave? Fuck them, I'm dead. Oh, you know, fucking I, dead. You know, I, who cares? I'm fucking dead. I, it is, well, well, I mean, she's going to miss you so much. Yeah, she's going to miss me. You know what? She's going to fucking pick up the pieces, and she's either going to kill herself or find somebody else. One of the two. And yeah, life moves on. You life won't moves know. on. No, I will The won't good know. thing about debt, the good thing about debt is it does not follow you when you die. That's the well, end of it. That, yeah. that is very true, which is why I'm going to charge up my cards tonight. But oh, fuck yeah. But nonetheless, you know, just if it's time to go, it's time to go. I'll be dead. I will be decomposing yeah. in a fucking box unless somebody decides to light me on fire and turn me into the fucking Marlboro ashes or something. Yeah, that's me. You know? That's what and, I'm and getting. I, I really, I'm going I really, that way. My parents said, so do you want to be buried with your brother? I said, I got to tell you, mom, I really, I really don't care. Oh, well, why is that? Cause I'll be dead. <laughs> I'll be dead. The, the only thing I, I, my wife has said is that I, I need to lose a, a couple more pounds because the bigger urn costs more. <laughs> oh, so, that's good. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jody. <laughs> Uh, Act like you got fucking Howard Hughes next year or some <laughs> shit. I know. <laughs> my yeah. God. My God. What is it? A Jody and w fucking William Taft? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> well, you know, I mean, because we have one of our dogs in, in an urn. Those urns are fucking expensive, but I'm disappointed by the urn. We've had, he's been in the urn for, I don't know, 18 years or something like that. And the urn is starting to now. Uh, sp get the, the, those tarnished spotting on it. No. Oh. And I'm disappointed by that because we paid a lot for that urn. And the urn is fucking. The urn weighs four times as much as the dog. 
My dog's in a box. Uh, uh, like she came in a, oh, in a uh, decorative box. Yeah, well, the cat came in a decorative box. The, the, the dog was 170 pounds when he was mm. what was uh, cremated. So you, you can't really put it. box? What'd you buy it at Woody's? What the fuck? A decorative no, box. The it's vet a, gives it to you. The, yeah, the, the place that does the cremation. Really? You get a decorative yeah. box and a paw print and a nice picture. I didn't get the paw Aww. print or the picture. But yeah, no, you got the, the picture from Chewy. I have I got the the picture of a dog that's still alive from Chewy. <laughs> okay. Um that's not her dog. I have it's not it's not my dog. No, I'm kidding. Um I have a million pictures of the dog that died. So I don't need the the cremation place to give me a picture. But that didn't come with with my stuff. Yeah, no, we have we have a uh, paw we've got a couple of paw prints. We've got a kitty print. We've got some kitty pictures and uh yeah you gotta go to a full service vet there uh chris full service i don't need my oil changed wally <laughs> no you gotta get okay, the one that gives need, you the box I need somebody to check my coolant for crazy you can't you can't you can't just go to the guy who did you know throws it in the the paper box and goes here here's a baggie oh well, look if one of our fucking cats dies over here i assure you the thing's going in the goddamn dumpster out back Okay, that's just yeah. that's the way it is. It's the same so, so, for me. It's a fire. Our that's cat. What happens. Our cat is the first cat that Jody and I got as a pet, so he stayed. We we kept him because it was the first pet we got together as a as a couple. Oh, by the way, Sunday was my thirty fourth wedding anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary! I saw a picture of that. Did I not? Speaking speaking of of my my wife, yeah, I think you did. Yeah, yeah, very but. Good. It, Fucking! I can't even imagine having that. I look at it now and go, thirty-four years. What the fuck? That's a long ass time. Hey, look, Julie and I would be twenty-five this year if we'd stay. Twenty-six if we'd stay together this year. I mean, that's yeah. But how how long you've been apart? Much longer, thank God. <laughs> um, so so listen, had we stayed together, we would have been twenty-six years. We were lucky to make it three years. Oh, my God. I mean, and I had said to my dad after I got divorced from Julie, I said, God, can you imagine if we had stayed together? And he said, yeah, you would have fucking killed yourself. I said, yeah, you're right. You're right. I absolutely yeah. would. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know how I got so. I hear some horror stories from folks. I also hear some great stories about people who have been married a long while and shit. But, man, I, I don't understand. I, not that I don't understand, but. I, I don't. I, I I'm surprised we made it only because of the guy I was when we first got together. That my wife put up with my shit for those first couple of years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm. I mean, it's it's a pretty good accomplishment, I think. But then I look at it and say it's really not an accomplishment. It was what you agreed to in the beginning. So I, cause I know lots of folks who've been married thirty plus years. Mm. I know lots of folks who I know lots of folks who've been married for you know twenty minutes and said, "Oh, that's that was fucking a mistake." That was too oh, hard. That's enough. Like, yep. Well, remember back when they with newspapers, when when people used to buy newspapers, you'd see like you know here's the death notices, here's the this, here's the divorce notices. The divorce notices always intrigued me. Because you'd see people getting divorced, like they got married six months ago, and they're getting divorced six months later. Like, how? What kind of bad decision did you, did you make? The other divorce that always made me kind of go, "What?" Is people have been married forty-seven years, it's <laughs> getting great. a Mr. divorce. Mister and Missus Johnson, you know, hail from blah 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 blah, and you know, there one went to school here, one went to school here. That's what you get for the wedding notice. And then for yeah. the divorce notice, I am no longer responsible for the debts of Jess A. Wright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you have you guys but, seen any of the the? Uh, I haven't looked into it, but you can't help but see the at least in when you're looking for country music news stories, you can't help but see the headlines about Billy Ray Cyrus and his wife. No, what's happened with no. Billy Ray? So. He uh, he got married like a year ago, maybe a little bit less, to this woman, Fire Rose. I don't know what her real name is, but she goes by Fire Rose. And 
they maybe they were only married six. They were they've been married a very short time, and they they're getting divorced. And suddenly it's he was abusive. No, she was abusive. No, she was spending all of this money on my business credit card. No, he said I could because it had my name on it. No, like and they're they're throwing all this mud back and forth publicly to the point that I'm embarrassed for them. Like, who, 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 is it B Billy? Billy, what's his wife's name? Fire Rose. Fire, so she Fire Rose heard and Billy, Billy Ray Depp. Is this this? Yeah, basically. Uh, uh, any, oh, any kind of any kind of celebrity divorce where they're throwing, they're you know slinging mud at each other publicly. I'm like, just fuck. I mean, I know there's a lot of stuff that goes into the court filings. And it's not their choice that it's made public, but still. Right. God, it's embarrassing. Yeah, it's, it, On their behalf, is, it, I'm embarrassed. It is kind of embarrassing to, to be in that sort of... And you wonder, why do you have to do that? Yeah. Which, which one is so mad that they're attacking and which one is defending by attacking back? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it, it's... It's one of them is the attack dog, and the other one is defending by attacking. Right. Well, whatever it is, just just don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart, because I just don't <laughs> think it would understand. Uh, that it's it's uh, so I don't follow any of this stuff. Where where do you find stuff like that, Jess? On, on what? Just in general, it's there just in, are, if you follow I have, country strings. I have a list of websites that I look for country music news on oh. because I have to do yeah. like a country for the a, show. a music news report every day. And yeah. so I, I go through this list every single day looking for interesting news stories. And I stay away from that shit because I think it's gross. So I Yeah, I, yeah. You know, you're right. I never include that stuff unless it was like like when Carly Pierce and Michael Ray got divorced, they were both current country artists and they hadn't been married for very long. I would touch on that, but I would never get into the he said, she said of it. Like it was just, uh, you know, they're, we made a big deal about them getting married. Oh, now they're getting divorced. It's but, not like those yeah, times so that you used to get on the air and say, well, that David Allen Coe was fucking on a younger girl. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no wonder my ratings were so high. That's true. <laughs> so, so I guess the thing is, is that years ago it wouldn't have been so much news, right? But now it's news, so you have to report because that's what people expect news to be now. I that's don't correct. know. I don't. I don't feel like I have to report it. And I would really only like when Blake Shelton and Miranda Lambert got divorced. That was a big deal. Like within right. the, you know the country music community that was a big deal but also when they got married there were radio stations naming them the king and queen of country like on their wedding day there were stations doing promotions around their wedding that had nothing to do with them so like it i i think it's just relative but i still feel like even if i even if i were to say if I thought Billy Ray Cyrus was relevant enough for me to include in my country music news, even if I were to say they're getting divorced, I would not get into all of the, he said she's abused him. She said this, blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't get into all of that. Right. And I could not yeah, be more grateful that nobody gives a fuck who I am when I went through my divorce. Oh, we gave a fuck. Well, you guys did, but you weren't publicly talking about my shit. That is true. No, we left that. When you were, when you were going through your divorce, were you were you and Chris working together then? No, should have been. Yeah, we should have been. Oh, okay. She should have been going through a divorce then. I assure you. I, I was I was wondering. I hadn't gone through what, the marriage yet. Yeah, that's my point. I was exactly. wondering what what your um what what like how. What, what Chris would have expected from day to day if you come in one day just fucking just I'm gonna kill somebody so shut the fuck up right now uh, Wally I already got that yeah yeah that was yeah that, that was, was that was an that what? was an absolute thing um you know gosh can I say this all these years later what what go ahead Wally you didn't know which Jess you were going to get on a given day <laughs> uh, okay 
And that's no fault of her own. It's fault of that psychopathic asshole that she was with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would not have liked to have been. I... Because, because when Jess loved you, when she liked coming in to see you in the morning, you, you had to still be careful. If she was pissed off, I couldn't imagine. Well, I don't know. I was not on the. I mean, I was on. I was working full time outside of radio when I was going through the divorce. I was that's when I was at Country Air Check. And so I did I did slacker radio part time at back then. And I don't know what I would have been like if I had been on a live radio show when I was going through all of the shit that I went through because I went into such a dark place that I, I I just was sad all the time. Like I was just, I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't want to see anybody. I didn't want to do anything kind of like now, but sad. It was one of my favorite breaks that she did. You know, it was, it was a, it was a break. And then it was the after break. It was, you know, 99.9 WFRE. And this is music from Alan Jackson for (laughs) you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, she would just turn it right the fuck on, you know, to go on the air and then turn it off. And like after like three breaks, I'm like, do you want me to just do the show? Yeah. Okay. But, you know, but that's also how you knew that something was wrong, because if the only thing I said when I turned on the mic was WFRE, here's Alan Jackson. That's correct. You knew there was something wrong. Yeah. It's not like you were singing a love boat song on the air. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. I can't imagine you just doing that break where you would just do a, a, a uh, that is. Yeah. That is. That is break. Yeah, I don't imagine you ever doing a that Hell, is break. I made a career, that, that, though. That is breaks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. Career, this, that the, is and this was. Yeah, this was, that is. And here's Absolutely. another 12 in a row coming right up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I... I I would have, I would have hated that kind of radio. Yeah. But that, that, and that's exactly why I didn't like doing classic rock, because that's the classic rock station that that they had, that I was, uh, that I was part of. Uh, right, I got to turn Alex, around here. The Alex Demers fun, yes. When, yeah, it was just bullshit. The the classic rock station that I worked at sometimes in Wichita. Um, a couple of those guys just they knew everything you know all of the stories the interesting stories stories that had never been made public because they used to smoke weed with those guys back in the early days of their radio careers and whatever those were some of the most fascinating guys to talk to and they would share some of those stories on the air so it was never a that is break oh see that i would i, I guess i would like that but you know i just have i'd never had a real just was never I never cared about any of it really. Yeah. I didn't care what artists were doing or what they did. I just it just none of that stuff I it cared about. So I guess as a as a jock I was pretty shitty in that area. Mm. Good job. Because asshole. I had no Yeah, I mean that really is true. That I was just terrible at it. I, I was ju- absolutely had no I just didn't do the legwork on on artist bio info that was not my thing all right talks amongst yourself i'm uh i'm just uh, stopping checking out for a second are you um gonna be able to mute or something Uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna do what chris showed me to do ready ready oh look at that he figured it out how about that shit so proud hey did you watch that um that ashley madison thing on netflix I have not yet. Hulu or whatever it was. I have not. I'm kind of mad at myself right now because all of that shit went down in what, 2015, 2016? Yeah. And I did not think until I was watching that documentary a couple weeks ago, I wonder if Shitbird is on it. Is on the and? the list. Well, they it's not you can't find the list public anymore. Oh, fuck. Even on, like, a, the web archive? 
I I haven't been able to find it. If you can find it, please by all means go look. But it didn't occur to me to look for him until I was watching that documentary. Well, let's see. Oh, you're looking right now? Mm-hmm. I think it's on the dark web, but I'm not going on the dark web to find out if my stupid ex-husband is on the Ashley Madison website. <laughs> Can you still see the Ashley Madison list published on the dark web? Web. Um, what happened to the Ashley Madison leak? Um, oh, it's a bit torrent, so I can't get it. Yeah. Um, let's see if it's on Wikipedia. It talks about it on Wikipedia. Talks about the timeline on Wikipedia. I think there was some legality that they weren't that you can't legally have it, which is why it's only on the dark web. Like the places that mm. had published it back then, there was some I don't know, if they were sued, there was some legal reason they couldn't keep the list on in a public website. Search Ashley Madison leaked data. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Hack, please remember that they did not email. Uh, let's see. Let's go by first name, last name. And um, let me type in shitbag's name. <laughs> and. Okay. Please hold. Oh. Am I really holding? Chris is looking for are, my. Are you fuck? Chris is li looking for my stupid ex-husband on the Ashley Madison list. <laughs> oh my god! And I don't find it. All Jess. right. It's you don't find the list, or you don't find his name. Uh, kind of both. I think what I'm typing into is like a thirst trap or something. Yeah. Bummer. I'm going, I'm yeah. going the wrong way. Bummer, man. Wally so Wally. was was he on there? Can't find him. I'm mad that I didn't think to look at it when it was public back when it happened. I think I was just trying to recover back when it happened, but I'm mad that I didn't think to look. Oh, uh, uh, okay. So was he on there and, and you didn't you didn't get it or you were thinking he might be on there? They're thinking he might be on there because you know he's a, you know, fucking chiropodor. When I was so. when I was watching the documentary a couple of weeks ago on Netflix or Hulu or wherever it is, I was like, "Holy shit! I wonder if he was on there." Oh, the Ashley Madison. Yeah, and then I did, I did not then watch that. You can't find you can't find the list, the public list anymore, and. So I was saying to Chris, I'm mad that it didn't occur to me back when it happened. It didn't occur to me to look for him back then. Oh yeah. Well, listen, let's just let's just say that he was there. I'm I wouldn't be surprised at all. Yeah, let's just say he was. I yeah. mean, it's it, it I matter of fact, I'm willing to go out on a limb and say given he was there. Yeah. It's pretty likely he was there. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm going to I'm going to say very likely. Yeah, he was horrible. He was a horrible dude. Still is. Yes, he was. I, so, I, I don't want to rehash your thing there, but fucking, you are so much smarter than that. What the fuck? Listen. How when, did this guy con you so much? It was, it. it's one of those, like... You know that thing they say, like, if you if you put a frog in water and you turn the heat up slowly... It doesn't yes, realize it's being yes. boiled to death. I didn't yeah. I didn't yeah. realize I was being boiled to death because he he was so good at manipulation that he would like he would say shit and I would it, it would make me go, "Oh. Wait. Am I wrong? I never Oh. Uh and then little by little, I would start to second guess myself. And then I would start to second guess myself more. And then he would get mad at me about something that completely took me by surprise. And then I would be like, wait, you're you're mad about that? And then and then I would be a horrible person for getting 
not realizing that I shouldn't, you know, it, and it was like this very steady, very slow increase in manipulation to, to the point that I didn't realize that he had just completely taken every piece of self-confidence I had and put it in the garbage disposal. Like I had no idea what was happening. Only because I don't know, I don't know this. So our time together, you and me, yeah. Not not our time together. When we were together. But when we were together, you were ultra confident. Mm-hmm. At least I thought you were. Mm-hmm. And ultra confident and ultra secure mm-hmm. and just fucking t- t- just just uh, just no shit. You would take no shit mm-hmm. and it, it, I could Nobody could have. I couldn't imagine anybody pulling wool over your eye, for no matter how hard they tried. So it it is. I don't know. Maybe if you're fucking in love, maybe it does that. Love will make you blind. Yeah, I think there's love will make you blind. I think there's he he knew what he was doing. He was intentionally manipulating me, and he was intentionally undermining my confidence without me realizing that that's what he was doing. He, he's like the definition of a gaslighter. Exactly, exactly what he was, and it 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 boggles my mind too. But which is, I think, one of the reasons that it hit me so hard when it was over. But the thing is, I kept asking questions. Things didn't make sense, and I would ask a question like, "Why do these things always happen to you?" And he would go, "Don't even get me started." Or, uh, or he would turn it around and, and make some accusation about me thinking some kind of thing about him. Right. Even when I wasn't thinking a thing about him. And then I would go, oh, wait, was I in the wrong about? Oh, I don't want to make you feel that way. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and because then he'll treat you like I, mean, I don't know this, but then I'm going to guess he treats you like shit. You don't want to be treated like shit. Mm-hmm. And you say like, well, it's my fault I'm being treated like shit because mm-hmm. I questioned him and made and and said that he was, as it turns out, exactly who he was. Mm-hmm. And I think and that's that that's why focus. he he cranked everything up so far at the end. Because right. I was asking too many questions and it was getting too hard for him to keep me in the dark about things. And I was starting to actually get suspicious. And so he had to he had to get out. And, you know, I think that's also it, why he ended up with somebody who was in her 20s when he was in his 40s, because she was easier to manipulate. It sort of makes me understand a little bit only only because of our time together, how a strong, independent individual can be rolled over Mm -hmm. by another person if they're very clever at doing it. And if you add in the fact that without getting too deep into fucking therapy, I had all of this family dynamic coming in, making me think that I wasn't shit. And I, and I had spent my whole life trying to prove, yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm, you know, right. like I spent my entire life trying to prove that I was a good person because my my I had these people in my family telling me that I was not my entire life. Right. So there's me and I've built myself up to this point where I'm confident and I'm good at what I find this career that I'm, yeah. I'm good at what uh, I do and people fucking... appreciate it. And then he comes in and is like, oh, by the way, you're you're still not shit. But he does it so, so slowly. You... Yeah. I also think though, when 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 this ha- when you find that place, you fucking dick. When you find that place in life where you you're you're oh it's, it's fucking guys don't use the directionals. When you think you know you you go along thinking you're not shit, but then you somebody comes along or a group of people come along and say, oh no, you're shit. Mm-hmm. You're good. You're 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 and and you. It, it, that that line is fucking still very thin. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is. It's a I very, it's a gotten, very thin fucking line, and it's easy to be pushed over it. I had just won an ACM award and had done all of these things when I met him. Like a year before I met him, I won the ACM. So I'm at the top of my game professionally. Right. I am. Yeah. I am floating on air. Like I didn't think it was possible that anybody could bring me down from that. Surprise. Yeah. So, and, and then, so, and maybe you've thought of this, but I'm, I'm wondering if he doesn't fucking start just beating the shit out of your confidence at this point in your life, when you're at the top of your game, you're fucking, your, your programming is top of your game. You got an ACM, you, you've got, you've got a, a huge networking process. What is the next step you could have made or might have made, or what was, what opportunities didn't come your way because you were unable to capitalize on the confidence you had earned over the course of a, of a, of a 15 year career getting to a certain point? I don't know, I, but I will say that I like where I ended up. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm, and that's all that's important. Right? Yeah. I'm happy with where I ended up. So I don't necessarily think he damaged my career and i don't i don't necessarily think he damaged me for very long i was damaged for sure but i also learned from all of the shit that he did and i feel confident in saying that i would never be in that situation again right yeah it's a, it's so it's, a, it's such a funky and it really is such a fucking fine line the, the, the fragility of fucking people is such a fine fucking line, no matter how strong you think you are, because I believe you are super strong. Like, you, you're, you are a Karen White superwoman, <laughs> at least while well, you were in, 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 in the day when we were working together. Mm. You, you, were, you were fucking not, uh, unstoppable, and I will tell you that back then, I don't have a lot of great qualities in reading people or doing it. I do a couple of things good, but the, your your biggest asset was your confidence and the ability to fucking just adapt and and roll. And and so that's what made me target you as a person who I wanted to, on a team that I was in. Which is funny because I don't feel like when I was at when I met you in Cortland, I don't feel like I was confident at all bullshit i i can yeah, fake I, it i'll move up to a place i don't know with this very little experience i have Man, that's the, confidence the number of times i did that <laughs> after this is your first one you're fresh out of college you're you're fucking working at a at a station in Cortland, new york you're going from intern to uh, when you left, were you, were you news? Were you you were the news director? I was the news director, and I was middays. I was basically on the right. air. If you listened, because we that was the early days of voice tracking. I was basically on the air from five a.m. to like five p.m. every day, but I was only in the building the, from like five a.m. to one p.m. Because yeah, I would do well, the I would do I did the news in the morning show. I did middays. And then I recorded news for the afternoon show. Well, as, as we all had. Oh, you're cutting out. You sound like that Chris. That step you took from there. What's that? You're, from there. What's you're, you're cutting out bad. Oh, I, he's, he's, I'm he's cutting pulling out. a Roth. Yeah, I'm he's, cutting out. You're pulling a Roth. <laughs> hey, okay. Well, okay. if you it's can hear me. Point that I, I, I got to go get myself a hysterectomy soon anyhow. So. <laughs> Isn't that your third one? Uh, fourth. Well, good luck with oh, that. Oh, my Lord. All right, yeah. you guys. Get the lizard ovaries. I'm going to take my uh, my confidence then and go get some shit done. Sounds good. And Wally has frozen <laughs> up. Next. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I know what it's like. Bye, guys. See you later. <laughs>